Hey, my three math projects is Coach Saifu with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to go into question number two of your assessment paper number four on money. So let's go right away. Let's take a look at the question. It says mother spent $348 on household items. What are household items? Could be a fork, could be spoons, whatever it is that is in your house, okay? And she spent $249 on clothes, on your sh on the dress, or on the blouse, or whatever it is. And after that, she went to the ATM. What's an ATM? An ATM is an automated, automated teller machine. In other words, you can withdraw money, you can take money from your bank through that machine. So she withdrew six, how many? Six $50 notes. That means how much is that? 50 100 150 200 250 300 dollars she withdraw and how much did she have in her purse then if she had 703 dollars at first wow so much information this is when our handy dandy notebook comes into play and we can actually draw the thing so let's start drawing immediately okay so i don't want you to draw models yet i just want you to understand the question first so let's draw some other things let's draw uh, $348 on household items. So mother spent, so this is your mother. Okay, this is not your mother, but this is mother. Let's just imagine this is mother. Oh, why is she so sad? <laughs> she should be happy. Okay. And, um, whoa, she's having, okay, that's pretty cool. She's dancing. Okay, so mother went to the market, okay? And she spent $348 on household items. Let's just draw a fork. Okay, I don't know how to draw a fork. Oh my god, that looks like a spade. Can I draw a spoon, please? Okay, a spoon. Alright, thank god I can draw a spoon. <clears throat> okay, and then uh, she had, uh, she spent $249 on clothes. So that means $249. I'm going to draw a dress, I think. Ah, uh, here you go. So that's a clothes, $348 and $249. And then after that, she went to the ATM and she took in six fifty dollars notes. So she went to the ATM. Where's the machine? So let's draw a machine over here. She went to the ATM. And she took in. She took. She withdrew. You know what she did? Uh, how much did she take? She took three hundred dollars because five uh, fifty times six. So she took in three hundred dollars into her wallet, into her purse. Sorry. So let's draw a purse right now. This is how a purse looks like in my mind. Okay. <clears throat> and the question says, okay, I don't know whether that's true or not. Uh, and the question says that, um, how much did she have in the purse then if she had $703 at first? That means at the start, she had $703 in her purse. Okay. And then what happened was she went to buy this. And then she bought this. And then after that, she took in some more money from the telling machine. So what should you do? If she spent $348, you can actually minus because she spent. I mean, she took out the money and she used it up. So you can actually minus $348. This is bracket and minus. And what happens when you take in money? It becomes a plus. You see? Ah, okay. So what must you do? First off, you must take $703. Okay, I got no space ready. Where am I going to write this down? <laughs> okay, I'm going to write this down here. Um, seven hundred and three dollars minus three hundred and forty eight dollars now what must you do you must write the answer let's take our calculator okay you can you cannot use a calculator <laughs> minus three four eight equals to three hundred and fifty five that means after after spending that amount she actually has three hundred and fifty five dollars in her purse but then what does she do she spent two hundred and forty nine dollars on clothes so the second line must be 355 minus 249 gives you, <coughs> excuse me, the answer will be 41 plus 55, that means $96. Let me check if my mental sum is correct. Minus 249 equals to, oi, 106. Let's check again, 355 minus 249. Oh, that's the first time I've been wrong. <laughs> okay, so that means 106, 106. That means after she spent on the household items and she spent on the clothes, she still had $106 left. But because she took out five, uh, six $50 notes, 
and that equals to six times fifty dollar notes equals to three hundred dollars. At the end of the day, she had hundred and six plus three hundred that she took out from the bank, and she has four hundred and six dollars, and that is the final answer. Ah, so that's how we do this question, you see. So at the end of the day, she has four hundred and six dollars in her purse. Hmm, interesting, interesting. So, um, that's it. Basically, that's the, that's the answer, okay? So, that's the answer. That's how you get it. If you got it right, high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. Okay, and this is, um, I want to tell you something. How do I manage to understand all these things? It's because I take the time. I take the time to read the question slowly, to understand and draw it out, okay? Um, and that's how I do this. So, which brings me to my quote of the week, which says, Good things take time. And again, like I said, if you want to improve, you have to take the time to do the practice. To take the time to do the work. There's nothing in life that comes without work. Work, work, work. And you have to think about it in a, in a very good sense. The more work you do, the easier things get. It's as simple as that. It's a simple equation. With that, this is Coach Saiful signing off saying, you must take the time for good things to happen. And this is Coach Saiful signing off saying, you are a math prodigy. Good job.